Japanese scientists have shared more of their findings on what caused the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident in March 2011. They've concluded that the cause of the meltdown in one of the reactors was the tsunami. The scientists are conducting their investigation for Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority. They released an interim report saying Reactor 1 lost its emergency power because of waves that hit the plant. Members of a Diet Commission suggested in 2012 the cause had been the earlier earthquake. The new report says data that showed up later indicate the arrival of the tsunami coincided with the loss of power. The scientists reject the Diet Commission's suggestion that the earthquake caused the meltdown by damaging the reactor's pipes. They say they'll continue their investigation and interview former members of the Diet Commission, then release their final report. A number of different panels have been trying to work out what went wrong at Fukushima Daiichi on March 11, 2011. Experts appointed by Japan's Diet are the latest to release the results of their investigation. Their more than 600-page report outlines the failures the government and Tokyo Electric Power Company made before, during, and after an earthquake and tsunami disabled the nuclear plant. Panel Chair Kiyoshi Kurokawa handed the report to the Speaker of the Diet's lower house and the President of the upper house. He and his fellow experts met 20 times since last December. Their report analyzes the underlying causes of the accident. It says that both the government and TEPCO missed opportunities to develop basic safety requirements. That's why they call the Fukushima accident a man-made disaster. The panel says the tsunami should not be considered as the only factor, and the impact of the earthquake on the facility should also be taken into account. TEPCO blamed only the tsunami in its investigation. The report emphasizes that TEPCO failed to give staff at Fukushima Daiichi enough training to take proper countermeasures in the event of a disaster. The panel also failed, or also notes, rather, that the role of TEPCO and the government had not been clearly defined should a serious accident occur. It says this led to the failure to contain the situation. The report also looks at Japan's nuclear power industry. It strongly condemns TEPCO for using its dominant position to loosen regulations. It also criticizes the utility for refusing to disclose information even after the disaster. The panel says workers at Japan's nuclear regulatory agencies were no better. It evaluates their level of expertise as poor. It says the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency and the Nuclear Commission or Safety Commission didn't maintain independence from pro-nuclear government bodies and didn't prioritize public safety. No shit. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa has spent the day reading through the report. Mitsuko, you have read the things in detail, the, the script in detail. This diet-appointed panel says that Fukushima Daiichi accident clearly was a man-made disaster. How did right. members come to that conclusion? Mm -hmm. Well, they argue collusion between the government, TEPCO, and nuclear regulators mm -hmm. caused the accident. They point out all three groups showed a lack of governance. And they say they failed to correctly develop the most basic safety requirements, for example, assessing the probability of damage and developing evacuation plans. They say the disaster could have and should have foreseen and prevented. They say the disaster could have and should have foreseen and prevented. Sometimes you gotta say, what the fuck? The report criticized then Prime Minister Naoto Khan and his office, saying their actions actually got in the way of efforts to respond to the disaster. Can you give us an example of what they did wrong? Mm -hmm. Well, the report says communication between Khan's office, TEPCO, and nuclear regulators was unimaginably disorganized. They didn't use technology that would have enabled them to talk in real time. And the experts say the lack of communication caused the Prime Minister's Prime Minister to fly to Fukushima Daiichi to check on the emergency response, but they point out that this unprecedented and direct intervention took away the attention and time of on-site staff and confused the chain of command. The panel says this delayed the disaster prevention process. Now the report isn't just critical of politicians and regulators. Uh, panel chair points a finger at out of all things, Japanese culture. Now, what sort of things did it say about right. that? Well, actually, panel chair Kiyoshi Kurokawa says Fukushima Daiichi was a made-in-Japan 
disaster. He says the fundamental causes are ingrained in Japanese culture. He cites reflexive obedience, a reluctance to uh, question authority, a devotion to sticking with the program, and groupism. Well, Kurokawa says each and every Japanese citizen should reflect deeply on what really happened on March 11, 2011, to understand what really went wrong, and to make sure similar mistakes aren't repeated. This diet-appointed panel is made up of scientists and lawyers. What else can you tell about its members? Well, the panel included a citizen from the town that hosts Fukushima Daiichi. Reiko Hachisuka and her neighbors had to flee the accident. More than a year later, they still can't go home. She represented the tens and th of thousands of evacuees during the investigation. I felt we were left out by government and TEPCO officials as they worked disorderly without giving enough attention to us evacuees. Lawmakers should realize each proposal we suggested in the report. Okay, Reiko Hachiska just said those proposals. What, what are they? Mm -hmm. Well, panel members included seven proposals in their report. Mm. And they say the Diet members should set a th third-party team to continue investigating the accident. They say they, could define, they couldn't define how the accident developed into a more serious situation after the earthquake and tsunami hit the plant. They say time is needed to closely check pipes and indicators in the reactor buildings and containment vessels. Other proposals include revising nuclear regulations and the government's crisis control system. Every now and then, say what the fuck. I'm talking about a philosophical perspective that penetrates your fucking mind after a certain time, okay? It's a deep-seated form of cynicism that I have because when I look around me and I see the utter atrociousness in the uh, continued embracing of idiotic, lunatic, and insane ideas that absolutely blanket our culture nowadays. I have to say to myself, what is this? So I'm deeply cynical about everything. It's a tragic fact that humans only use 10% of their brains, and thus will never be able to truly appreciate the brilliance of this video news summary, the fullest expression of which exists in dimensions that our feeble minds can only grope at understanding.